Hey guys, this is Michael from Conquer Chemistry. In today's video, we'll be going over how to do pressure conversions, how to convert from one pressure unit to another pressure unit. And we'll be working through four practice problems together. I've listed the steps right here. I have also listed uh, different pressure conversion units, but let's jump straight into a problem and see how to apply the steps and how to do this. So the first question reads, the air pressure in the city is 0 0.98 ATM. ATM is just a pressure unit called atmosphere. What is the pressure in tors? Here we're being asked to convert from ATM to tors. So let's take a look at the steps and how we do it. We first start with the given value. The given value is the 0 0.98 ATM, 0 0.98 atmospheres. Then we multiply it by conversion factors. So multiply it by a conversion factor. We place the starting unit on the bottom. So we start with ATM. I want to get rid of the ATM. So I put the ATM on the bottom, and then I put the desired unit on top. So we're trying to get rid of the ATM, we're trying to convert it to TORS, so we put TORS on the top. Then next we just look at the conversions and look at what numbers are next to TORS and what numbers are next to ATM. So next to TORS we have 760, so I put 760 right here, and then for ATM there's a 1. So that's our conversion factor. This is saying that in every one atmosphere, there's 760 tors. Then when you do that, notice that the atmosphere cancels out, and then you, you're left with tors. So we just plug this into our calculator, 0 0.98 times 760, and we get 744.8 tors. Next, let's take a look at our sig figs. We start with two sig figs in the beginning, so that means we should have two sig figs afterwards. So that means this now becomes 750 or 740 tors. If you're confused about sig figs, just take a look at my sig fig videos and that will clarify the sig figs. The next part is asking what would the pressure of 0 0.98 ATM be in MMHG? So here we're being asked to convert between ATM to MMHG. But if you take a look at the conversion factor you, right here, you can see that 1 ATM equals 700 mmHg, which is millimeters of mercury, which also equals 760 tors. So since 1 ATM equals 700 of both the millimeters of mercury and tors, it means that millimeters of mercury and tors are interchangeable. So if I have 740 tors, it means I, I also have 740 millimeters of mercury. So if you get a, a problem that asks you about tors to mmHg, you can literally keep the same number, but just change the units because they have the same conversion factors. The last part is asking us to convert the 0 0.98 ATM into kPa, which is kilopascals. So we're going to do the same approach. We're going to start with the given amount, which is 0 0.98 ATM. We're going to multiply that by the conversion factor. So we put the, the starting amount, the starting unit on the bottom to get rid of it, put the ATM on the bottom. I want to convert it to KPA, so I put the KPA on top. Then I take a look at the conversion factors up and look, take a look at what number is next to KPA, which is 101.3 and 1 for ATM. Notice that the ATMs cancel out, and then we're left with KPA. So we just do 0 0.98 times 101.3, and that gives us 99 K. P A since we started with two sig figs and I want two sig figs in the end. Next problem. It says that the pressure of a tire is 28 pounds per square inch. What is the tire pressure in millimeters of mercury? So we're given pounds per square inch and we want to convert that to millimeters of mercury. We'll start with the given with 28 pounds per square inch, which is written as just PSI multiply it by the conversion factor. We start a PSI and I want to get rid of that so I put PSI on the bottom. I want to convert it to MMHG so I put the desired unit MMHG on top. Take a look at the numbers next to MMHG and PSI. There's 760 MMHG and then there's 14.7 PSI. Then the PSIs cancel out then we just plug this into our calculator. So we do 28 times 760 divided by 14.7, and we would get 
7.6 mmHg. We started with two sig figs, so I have to have two sig figs on the final answer, and that becomes 1,400 millimeters of mercury. This conversion, these conversion factors right here, they may be given to you on your test or quiz, but you also might have to memorize it. So that depends on your teacher and you should check um, in with him or her to see whether you have to memorize it or if these will be given to you. Next question, we are given the question convert to 25,300 PA, which is Pascals, to ATM and to Tor. So it's two parts. We have to first convert the Pascals to ATM and then we have to convert the Pascals to Tors. So let's start with the Pascals to ATM. We'll start with the given 25,300 Pascals multiplied by a conversion factor. We want to get rid of the Pascals, so we put Pascals on the bottom. We're trying to get to ATM, so we put ATM on top. Let's take a look at the conversion factors. In front of ATM, there's a 1, so we put a 1 here. And in front of Pascal's, there's 101,325. So we put 101,325. Then the Pascal's cancel out, and we're left of ATM. So then we do 25,300 divided by 101,325. We start it with three sig figs, so we should get three sig figs in the final answer, and we get 0 0.2500. ATM. The second part is we have to convert that into TORS. We can start with the Pascals or we can we can start with the ATM. I'm just going to start with the Pascals since that was the original number. So we used to go 25,300 Pascals PA multiplied by the conversion factor. We're trying to get rid of the Pascals, so put Pascals on the bottom. We want to convert the Pascals into TORS. So then we put the tors on the top. Let's take a look at the conversion factors. There's a 760 in front of the tors. And then in front of Pascal's, there's 101,325. Pascal's cancel out. We're left with tors. We need to plug in 25,300, multiply it by 760, and then divide that by 101,325. I started three sig figs. I, end of three sig fix, I get uh, one, eight, nine, one, nine, zero, actually, tors. All right, last problem. This one, it's, it's a little longer, but let's, let's go through it and talk about how to break this down. The problem reads, a bag of chips is sealed in a factory at near sea level. The atmospheric pressure at the factory is... 758.3 mmHg. The pressure of the chips is the same, so that means the pressure of the chips is also 758.3 mmHg. What is the pressure inside the bag of the chips in Pascal's? There's a lot of words here, but essentially what we're going to be doing is just converting mmHg into Pascal's. So we start with the given 758.3 millimeters of mercury multiply by conversion factor, put millimeters of mercury on the bottom so then it can cancel out, put Pascal on the top because that's what we want to we want to convert it to. Take a look at the, the numbers, MMHG 760, Pascals 101325. The millimeters of mercury cancel out and we're left with Pascal's. So then we just do 758.3 times 101,325 divided by 760. We started with four sig figs, so I should get four sig figs in the end, and it'll be 1011,00 Pascal's. Yeah, that's right, 101100 Pascal's. There you have it. That's how you convert between different units of pressure. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry, if you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Acing Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com chemsecrets. 
I'm gonna include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really gonna help you, and you're gonna you're gonna like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.